Phillips here with us today. He's out of school. Today's Good Friday and everything. And uh, I'm fixing to give y'all a treat right quick. What we're fixing to do, it rained yesterday evening, rained us out about two o'clock. And we're, we need to, uh, we pull trucks all day. And that's the only thing we use a cable for is to pull trucks. And uh, we're fixing to tie a main line cable. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. It may not be the right way. It may be completely wrong. I don't know. I've been doing it this way forever. And, but this way works for us. You know, some of y'all have a better way to do it, but I have a lot of people ask me all the time about, you know, logging and getting into logging. And doing what we're fixing to do right here is probably one of the most dangerous things in logging besides actually cutting timber down that you could possibly do is fooling with one of these steel mainline cables. We run a 5 8 cable and I'm going to take y'all start to finish cutting it the whole nine yards and uh, show y'all how how we tie it and how we do it safely. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, this is it right here. We run a 5 8 main line right here and you see it's starting to uh, it's starting to fray out right there starting to break a strand and you see where it's kind of looks kind of funny all the way up through here. What I'm gonna do, see it's even messed up right there a little bit too. I'm gonna come all the way back to here and I'm gonna cut this cable right here. I'm gonna show y'all how I cut it too and all. But this is how we pull trucks. That's the knot, you see that knot right there? I'm gonna tie that knot right there is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna bring it down just like that. We just run two slides, a little slide against the knot and then the larger slide. And then all of our trucks have a center pull on them. And we double that cable back that choker cable back and we put this in the right there because then you got double strength and by a center pull you're not if you're pulling on one side of the truck or the other you're always pulling the truck off in the ditch that's the reason why we run a center pull and we don't pull on the ends of the cable back to the truck either because you'll snatch these balls off all the time so we double it up and come back and that way we get full strength and we use a tree cutter the tie and I'm gonna show y'all how we do every bit of this stuff right here all right this is what we cut it with we use a uh, we use a cutting wheel on a grinder with air and that's how we cut it also I also use vice grips here use vice grips to hold it with we're grabbing it with these vice grips right here now because uh yeah any, that's fine right there Because so it doesn't, so the cable sometimes it'll pop and unwind or whatever. So we're doing that. We all got on our safety glasses and everything. You can do this with a torch, or you can use this right here. See how clean it cuts it right there? Cuts it real good and the vice grips kind of hold it right there. Now we're finna tie, I'm finna put a finna put a knot in it now. We might well record this good stuff right here. Alright, you go ahead and start it. Oh I I I started. You gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, lock your wings up here, huh? Yeah. I want my, 
static drive and you're not snatching on it or anything like that. But like I said, you can trim that off. We'll leave it just like it is. And uh, do that. That's a clip. See how it works? It's a connection, it's a connection point. Now, I don't know y'all, Chad's my cameraman. I don't know y'all's experience every time a cable first time, but I remember me and Dad's experience the first time. We like to get killed, man. We were tying like a one inch and that cable come flying back by my head one time. Bad.